Hey guys, so I wanted to share my experience with this service called Daily Pay that I signed up for a few months ago. And what Daily Pay is, is exactly what it sounds like. It allows you to get paid daily if you're working with some of these apps out there that don't offer a daily or instant pay option. You know, Uber offers an instant pay option, Lyft offers an instant pay option, but a lot of these other apps don't. So Daily Pay kind of fills in the gap there. Uh, but why don't we just go ahead and I'll log into my account and show you guys exactly how it works. All right, so here in my account, I have an available balance of $81, and it looks like that balance was just updated, but you can always hit that refresh button. Oh, I must have updated it less than 15 minutes ago, but you can hit it every 15 minutes to update your current totals. And some of the apps that Daily Pay links with are Fasten, DoorDash, Grubhub and Instacart. And I'm a driver with Grubhub and DoorDash, so you can see both of those are active on my account. And if we go back to my home, you have a list of your payments and your bank account details, stuff like that. But something that I wanna show you and something really important is in account settings here. So I wanna show you guys this one really important detail, which is in the payment settings here on a minimum transfer amount. And if I click on edit, the only options are $5, $10 or $25. And you can see that says here to save on fees, you can set a minimum advance amount that will initiate a payment. If you not meet the minimum amount on a particular day, your money will be rolled over to the next payment date. So this is what's gonna happen if you do enroll with daily pay in uh, automatic payments. Now you can see I'm signed in under manual. I'll choose when and how much money I receive. And the other option, like I said, automatic, send me all my money next business day after it becomes available. That's where they can start getting you with the fees because you'll be charged a fee with every automatic payment. So you definitely want to be careful with that. And that's why I have mine set to manual. And the way things work with manual is that I can go ahead to my home screen and I can request a withdrawal whenever I want from my available balance. And the balance is often updated in almost real time. I believe with Grubhub um, payments after 2.30 p.m. are available the next day, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but basically I can go here and just request a manual withdrawal whenever I want. And while I will get hit with a fee that might be like 99 cents under $100, I think, and for me $1.49 above $100, um, you know, at least I'm not getting hit with it every day and forgetting about it like I would with the automatic transfer. So that's why I'd like to use the uh, manual transfer. The other good thing about manual transfer is if I don't request a manual transfer, my money is just deposited, the money that I earned from those apps. Like for example, this week I did, I think one DoorDash delivery and three Grubhub deliveries and that's where this $81 comes from. But you know, if I don't request a transfer, then that money will just be deposited um, one day after the regular payday. So Grubhub normally deposits on Thursday. So instead I'll get it on Friday. And again, there's no fees with that. And with DoorDash, normally I would get my deposit on a Tuesday, but instead now with daily pay, I get it on Wednesday. And generally the way it works is you're giving daily pay your login credentials for these apps. And uh, so it allows daily pay to see how much money that you're making, you know, up to the minute pretty much. And then they can kind of advance you that money. And generally the way you uh, set up your daily pay account is you're gonna go into your you know, DoorDash or Grubhub account, for example, and you'll kind of like switch over your bank account details to daily pay's bank account. But don't worry because daily pay will still pay you. So basically the money goes from Grubhub or DoorDash or Fasten or Instacart to daily pay and then from daily pay to you. So, you know, it's definitely a valuable service for a lot of people, I would just, encourage you guys to use caution about setting up automatic payments because you don't want to get hit by those fees on a regular basis and you should really only be using a product like this that charges you fees when you absolutely need to have that money that day or actually the next day because when you request it you'll get paid out the next day so why don't we also just go ahead and do a transfer and see exactly what happens so i'm just going to take my entire available balance of 81 dollars and click on start transfer. 
and you can see that's where it's showing the fee. So for my account, I believe under $100, it's a 99 cent fee and over 100, it's $1.49. So to receive money by next business day, you must transfer by 2.30 p.m. Looks like we missed out on that, but I'll go ahead and cl click complete transfer and it looks like it's good to go. But if I don't have my account set to automatic payments and I don't actually go and request a manual transfer that week, the payment will just be deposited automatically into my account and there'll be no fees associated with that deposit and it'll come on the day after it normally would depending on which app I'm using. So example, for example, with DoorDash, I normally get my deposits on Tuesday. So in this case, if I don't manually request a deposit and I don't have my daily pay account set to automatic payments, that transfer will now come through on Wednesday and there will be no fees removed from it. So basically you're only charged if either you have automatic payments on, which again, I would caution you against using, or if you actively go in and request a manual transfer. But if you don't do that, then your money will just automatically be deposited. So it's a nice service to have because it gives you the option to get paid daily if you want to for a fee, or you can just wait that extra day and get the money deposited as normal. So there is a little pro and con to it, but for the most part, I think it is a good service for a lot of folks in the rideshare industry and a lot of people can make use of it. I just caution you to be careful about getting hit with those fees. Just a quick note about DoorDash. Now DoorDash did recently announce that they're gonna be offering their own Instant Pay product soon. And when that happens and they roll out that Instant Pay product, you'll no longer be able to use Daily Pay to get your DoorDash earnings. But for the time being, Daily Pay is still a great option to use to get your DoorDash earnings daily. Um, and that's about it. You know, if you do want to check out Daily Pay, they do have this referral program. I'll be totally transparent with you guys. Um, so if any guys do sign up, you get two weeks free and I guess I would get $20. So, you know, it would be cool if you do decide to sign up to use my link. I've tried to share my honest experience with Daily Pay with you. You know, I've never had a problem with it. It's always done what is promised. I have been charged the fees as it promises, either when I do an automatic withdrawal or a manual withdrawal, but there's been no funny business. I've always gotten my money the day I expected to get it. But if you do decide to sign up, um, you know, you can find my referral link right here, or of course, down below. So please use that or please use a friend's referral link. If you have a friend who's al already with Daily Pay, definitely, you know, let somebody get that 20 bucks. Why not? In any case, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you do have any questions about Daily Pay or anything else rideshare related, please reach out to me. You can always find information on how to do that down below. Wherever you're watching, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.